So on this example, y equal 1 half raised to the x plus 1 minus 3. This is an exponential. The general equation is y equal a times b to the power x minus h plus k. So in this case, your a is actually 1 because there's not a number in front here. It's really a 1. Your b is this 1 half. So that means we're times it by 1 half, times it by 1 half, times it by 1 half. This x plus 1 is going to move our graph left 1, and this minus 3 is going to drop our graph down 3. So if I'm going to graph this to start with, I'm going to have an asymptote at y equal negative 3. So y equal negative 3. And then from there, I'm going to be starting here. This is kind of my start. And I'm going to be going to the left one because of that minus one. And I'm just going to put my pen here for a second. So I went to left one. This is where my graph is starting. This is where I start with my a. My a is one. OK. And then I am timesing by one half, timesing by one half, timesing by one half. So if this is one high, as I go to the right and I times it by a half, it's going to be half as high. It's going to be 0.5 or a half. And then it's going to be half as high, which would be 0.25 or 1 fourth, and so forth, and so forth. It's getting half and half and half as high. Now, going the other direction, if I am making everything half as high or dividing by 2, then going the other direction, I'm multiplying by 2. So this is half high. This is 1 high. The next one's going to be twice as high, 4 times as high. 8 times as high, 5, 6, 7, 8. OK, so when your, your base is smaller than 1, it's going to be decreasing. OK, so it's half as high, half as high, half as high. And remember, the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. So it's the flip-flop of the 2 to the power x. OK, it's got flipped over here. So again, start with my a. My a is what's in front of this, which is 1. My b is when I'm multiplying by, that's 1 half. The graph got pushed down 3, so it's at negative 3. I go over to the left 1, and that's where I start. OK, I'm just going to kind of circle this point. This is my start. My start is a above. So in this case, it's 1 above. Then it's half as high, and half as high, and half as high. And if I'm going backwards, I'm doing the opposite. So if I'm making it half, 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 I'm doubling going backwards. And that is your graph. OK, if you are stuck, you can always make a table, an in-out table. Um, make sure you're doing negative and positive. So if this is a negative 1, that is where the direction is moving, I would kind of have negative 1 be the center of my table. So maybe you're going to try negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, OK? And, and then going the other direction after negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So as an example, if you needed to, make a table. OK, I, again, I know this, the center of this, I want to say center, the, the, I'm moving this left one. So I kind of want to have a, that negative 1. So let's say I have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 0, 1, 2. And you could substitute these values in for your x and find your y. Hopefully that's helpful.